Let's scan this ring to demonstrate the scanner. Note it's extremely shiny, so we need to use the scan spray that comes with the scanner. We spray it on and it mostly evaporates, it just leaves a very fine white film. And after we scan it, all we have to do is wait 24 hours and the white layer will evaporate too, so there's no cleaning up to do. This spray is by far the best spray that we found, because it's so thin. Other sprays can be so thick that they cover up the detail that you're trying to scan. So we put the ring in the scanner, and then we move to the software, type a file name, and if we click settings we can choose an appropriate scan size. We are scanning a small ring with very fine details, so let's use super resolution and the small scan area. To do the fastest scans, it's best only to use super resolution when you need it, and to use the smallest scan area possible. The maximum scan volume is a cylinder 12 centimeters diameter and seven and a half centimeters high. We can also choose the number of angles that it's scanned from. Standard mode scans from about 10 different angles so it's fast. If you have an object with lots of crevices or you want the highest possible quality, you can use more scan angles. It just takes longer. There are other settings, but you can nearly always leave them alone. They are explained in another video. So we click scan. And now if we like, we can adjust the exposure. It's best to use as high exposure as possible, but if we put it too high, it shows overexposed regions in pink. A little bit of pink is okay, but that's too much, so let's put it back to how it was. So off the scanner goes now, scanning the ring from different angles and stitching all the different angles together. I've accelerated it here so you don't have to wait. The scan software is intentionally simple. Its sole purpose is to collect the scan data and save it to a 3D file. You can then use dedicated editing packages to do the rest. Click to show the folder where it's saved. And now we're loading it into MeshLab. We recommend MeshLab because it has so many features you can do everything. And it's free. So here we're going to crop it save it and then we're done. And if you're wondering how am I going to remember which icons to click and how to save it and so on, we made a simple cheat sheet with a reminder of how to do all the basic functions. You can print it out and keep it at hand until you remember. Now if you wanted the entirety of one surface you could have just put it on the tack pad and scanned it like this. And if you wanted the entirety of the ring, both sides, and even with the small bit that was obscured by the vise, then you can do a 360 degree scan, which we'll show you how to do in the next video.